Hi, I'm Sophia, and today I'm going to be telling you about the science behind Silly Putty. In your mini materials demo kit, you will find a package with Silly Putty and a description card. If you take it out of its package, you will find a toy that many of us have played with before. And with Silly Putty, we can stretch it, we can rip it, we can bounce it like a bouncy ball, and if we roll it into a ball, we can let it sit over time and let it flow into a flat patty. So why does Silly Putty behave this way? Not many materials can do that. Turns out it all has to do with material science. So let's get started. Silly Putty is a polymer and polymers are all around us. If we zoomed in super, super close to this and looked at the microstructure, we would see a lot of chains all mumble jumbled together, kind of like a bundle of yarn. Each strand of yarn is like a polymer chain. If I stretch this slowly and pull the strands apart, they start to slide past each other. But if I pull hard, they all rip apart. So let's try that on the large scale with our silly putty. If you hold the silly putty on either end and pull slowly, you'll see that it starts to stretch. What's happening on the micro scale is all of those polymer chains are slowly sliding past each other. But remember, if we pull those polymer chains apart quickly, they should break. So let's try that. Grab both ends of the silly putty and pull hard. And you see that the polymer snaps and the edges almost look like broken glass. This also happens because Silly Putty is a polymer that is viscoelastic. Visco sounds like the word viscous, kind of like honey. Honey is a viscous liquid, which means when I pour it, it flows very slowly. It's very That's why when you roll your Silly Putty into a ball and let it sit on the countertop for a while, it will start to slowly flow and deform into, from a sphere into a patty. Now remember, I said that Silly Putty is viscoelastic. Well, what do we know is elastic? A rubber band. A rubber band is elastic, which means you can deform it and it goes back to its original shape. Similarly, when we roll this into a ball and bounce it, when it hits the table, the ball deforms slightly, but then springs back to its original circular shape, which makes it bounce just like a bouncy ball. So now we know why Silly Putty behaves the way that it does. It's a viscoelastic polymer made up of polymer chains that can be pulled apart slowly or broken if we pull quickly. I hope you learned something and have fun playing with your Silly Putty. If you'd like to learn more or check out some of the other cool mini materials demo kit videos, check out the American Ceramic Society website.